All right, I'm going to spend a little more time talking about Handbrake. Um, it's actually a really cool program. You can do a lot with it. Um, it well, you know, it's primarily a video ripping program, you know, conversion and stuff like that. And, and um, um, the cool thing about Handbrake that I like a lot, you can actually add a, a queue system, right? Uh, so let's say your computer has multiple DVD drives, right? You have like three or four of them. Some people do that. Uh, you can pop in a couple DVDs. Um, you can set it to a queue so that you know overnight it'll rip one, then it'll switch to the next one, then then to the next one, and so forth, right? It'll just uh, it'll rip it all overnight, and by the morning, you know, it'll be all done. And um, but let's say you don't have that luxury of having multiple drives and stuff like that. You can actually copy your your DVDs into an ISO file, right? Fairly easy. Um, the last method I showed you was with a uh, uh, Canon copy, which is a DVD shrink. So it takes the standard dual layer DVD and it shrinks it down to a, a regular DVD, right? Um, so give you an idea, here's a DVD right here. It's a 7.3, oh, 7.6 gigs, right? So I copied that one earlier today. That's a movie, I, uh, what's it called? Well, that's the, another thing I gotta mention. This, this is kind of illegal. Like you could go out and rent a movie, right? And uh, do this and copy it. So let me uh, play it with movie player. Oh, it's mounted. I'm sorry. Let me play with VLC. Here we go. To give you an idea, like it's it's a full like bit by bit copy. Let me run the volume of a of a movie. So it has all the menus, everything, scene selection, all that good stuff. So, anyways, to do that is very very easy. Let me unmount this. Unmount is uh just put in a DVD or CD. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, a DVD. Right click on the DVD once you once you uh, put in your drive and um, just basically just click copy disk. And it should copy. Huh. Let's try that one more time. Copy disk. There it goes. Sorry about that. And it's probably because I'm recording. So, all right. When you copy this disk, it's gonna it's gonna copy it to your uh, home folder. So, let's go ahead and create the image, and it's gonna go ahead and copy. So it's gonna take a while. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about some other stuff while it's copying. Okay. With uh, Handbrake, you can also uh, change the resolution size of your of your uh, media. So let me go ahead and open this this little uh, cartoon guy right here. Right. Go click on source. Go to best moments. That's the the clip I'm looking for. All right. All right. As you can see, it's a it's standard definition. I guess it's not the HD or widescreen. It's a little square. You know, it's 40 by 352. All right. Um, you could change that to fit your screen if you wanted to. All right. Or or you can just go ahead and encode it to whatever. Uh, well, not really whatever format. It's basically MP4 or MKV right here. Um, to change the resolution, go to picture settings. Okay, let me move this out of the way. You can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so let me uh, uncheck auto crop. You could crop it down if you just want his face if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. Where it says atmospheric, I guess. Click off. Where it says optimal for source. Uncheck that. Then go ahead and type in the resolution you want. So like, say like a, a standard like 16 by 9 will be, or 16 by 10 will be like 1440 by 900. So 1440. Okay. And uh, let me click over here for a second. And it should make it bigger. All right. Now this is, now this is respecting the aspect ratio. So it's gonna, it's gonna keep it at a little, at a, at a square, not you know stretched out to a 16 by by 10 or 16 by 9 format. If you want to stretch it out, where it says aspect, uh, keep aspect ratio, uncheck that. Then go over here and put 900, I guess. And that should change it. There it goes. See how it stretched it out? So that's if you want to do something like that. You don't have to do that, but you know, some people are into that sort of thing. They want it, you know, to fill the whole screen. So that's how you do it. Let me go ahead and reset everything. Keep aspect, auto crop. Okay, it should be back to normal, hopefully. Yeah, it is. Close that off. Um, let me go ahead and get rid of this guy and open up another clip.
and here's like a widescreen format you know it's a movie clip go to source let me uh, find it for a second there it is click open or OK alright now see how it's 1280 by 548 um, okay that's that's rather large okay now what if you own a device like an Apple device like a an iPhone or iPhone touch or iPad or whatever you have presets over here so as you can see right here if you can see the dimensions you see how I shrank it down so it's a preset that will actually shrink it down to the proper size and bit rate and everything so you don't have to mess with all this stuff in here if you don't want to you could if you wanted to but it's easier with just with the presets so there's iPhone iPhone 4 there's Apple TV you know, see how the resolution is changing, the dimensions. Oh, that one's oh, that one. There it goes. Fit. Okay, so that's how you do that. You know, it's very easy to use. All right, and let's say this is an actual full-length movie, and it has subtitles, or you want to add subtitles, you can also add subtitles as well. Um, you know, pick tracks or whatever. Download a download a subtitle off the net if you wanted to, and add it to it. So it's it's very cool little program that does a lot. You know, I mean, it's basically aimed at the person who has a mass you know collection of DVDs and one like you know backup stuff and conversions to their, their Apple device and stuff like that so it's a really good program so I'm gonna go ahead and close it off for now and I'll show you how to add the queue system just in a minute and I'll wait for this to finish so I'm gonna stop right now all right it's all done um, let me go ahead and add it to the queue like I was saying all right this had the first movie so click on source we're gonna go to my desktop and here it is drive click OK it's gonna scan the media for the actual movie there it is and um, you know now to add another one right click right here it says add to queue click that so now you have one you know pending so let's add another one click source again it's in my home folder this time click on that click OK it's going to scan the media again there it goes and pretty much just hit start and you're done it'll rip overnight and you know by the morning you should have uh, two files right and also like I said before to modify the files you can go into here you know change the bit rate up a little bit you can change the video codec too if you want to go to MPEG4 right FFmpeg uh, H.264 is fine for me um, you can also change the settings of that codec as well but default is okay but if you run into some problems or some trouble like some jerkiness you can actually uh, adjust it in here and also um, see same as source the frame rate you can uh, I guess modify it for NTSF I'm sorry NTSC or PAL right? the frame the, the actual uh, frame rate so you can do that too so anyways that's pretty much it really um, there's a little more to it, but that's pretty much the basics of it. You know what I mean? And then some, I guess. Um, you know, what can I say? It's an awesome program. You know, I use it all the time. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.